Hello, uh, my name is uh, Harinaraina. I've been working in this division for the last uh, 25 years. I'm going to explain to you uh, what this division is all about and what we are doing all these years for the sake of understanding the deep structures of the earth, about the earth and why. Okay. So this, this division is called magnetotelluric method. So it means it measures both the magnetic field as well as the electric field on the natural source magnetic field as well as electric field on the surface of the earth. From these measurements we understand what type of rocks available below the earth. So this is the simple terms, this is the principle. Now let me understand you much more clearly that let us come to understand what is magnetism. How do you know earth contain magnetism? This is a very simple question. If any one of you know about it, you must have studied in your classes, maybe 7th class to 8th class or 6th class. So your teacher must have told you how, because earth is a big magnet. How do you know it? How do you uh, understand this? Let me start explain you in a very simple way using a small compass. As you have seen, this is a very small compass which always shows north and south direction. Why? Why it should show north south direction? This is a property of the magnet. See, the magnet shows in one direction because some other force, some other magnetic fields of force is acting on this, even now. That's why it shows only one direction, that's called north and south. That means because the earth contains a magnetic field and the earth contains a magnet and it has all around it is a magnetic field and the lines of force, magnetic lines of force acting on this magnet which you cannot see but the magnet can sense it. That's why it is showing. So this is a very simple uh, way of understanding or a proof that the earth contains magnetic field. We don't confuse with the gravity field. Gravity field is different from magnetic field. Gravity field means if you leave any body on from any, any height and it goes towards the earth, it, go, it drops down directly to the earth. This need not be magnetic bodies. Non-magnetic bodies also get attracted towards the earth. That is called gravity field. So there is a clear cut distinction between the magnetic field as well as the gravity field. Okay, having explained that, the magnetic field, the, let me show you a little bit on uh, what is the principle of the magnetotelluric method. See, the magnetotelluric method depends upon one main principle that is called electromagnetic induction. Now the question comes, uh, what is electromagnetic induction? You must have studied in your intermediate or even a degree or a, even 10th class that whenever there is a change in the magnetic field, not the static magnetic field, whenever there is a change in the magnetic field, electricity is induced in a conductor. This is the principle of electromagnetic induction. Have you ever experimented this? Have you seen it? Have you felt it? Have you done it before? I am going to show you today that how to understand electromagnetic induction. Let me show you this one. This is a very simple recorder which can record the electric field variations. You can see there are two channels here, here and this is connected through small wire. And this is a recorder which oscillates whenever there is a change in the magnetic, uh, electric field. See, this is a with simple coil which contains uh, copper wire winding on this. As you can see here, this is a small uh, rod which contains at the end we kept it one small magnet. You can see this one, this is a small magnet. And this magnet, how do you know this is a magnet? You can take it this here. You can take it this here and you can show you. You see, it's turning. That means this magnetic field of lines of force is acting on the small magnet. This is a larger force and that has got a small force. So that's why this is acting on it. It is deviating from that. This is the this this is the property. So you know that it, this is the magnet. So having known that this magnet, I am going to move this magnet inside this uh, conductor. This is a conducting body because it contains a lot of copper wire. I am going to move this inside. If the principle of what I said is a change in the magnetic field induces electric field as a principle, this particular uh, recorder should make some variations. That means you should show that it is moving. Let me show you that. Let me prove that. Let me show, uh, experiment this. You can you see that? See slowly I am moving and it is moving. So if you move it fast and it is also moving fast. If you move very slow, it goes very slow. 
So that means the rate of change of magnetic field is proportional to the electric field induced in the conductor. If there is a fast changes in the magnetic field variation, electricity also produces in a large amplitude. So this principle we use on the surface of the air in order to understand what is below the earth. Why we are interested? We are interested to know what is below the earth because we want oil. You are driving scooty, you are driving scooters, I am driving a car or something. I need oil I, to, to drive. Okay, for this we need we need to know what are the hydrocarbons, we call it the hydrocarbons of oil. So oil exists below the earth. Same thing, you are all people are really, ladies are wearing bangles and uh, also this um, gold. gold ornaments. We need gold. It's metal. Why? Why? Where it comes from? It comes from below the earth. We all want water. We want to drink water. You get a bottle of water. You can, you can, it is available inside the earth. See, there are many, many things which are available below the, or from the mother earth. So that's why we want to know what is below the earth. At a depth. So, in order to do that, what we do is, we keep the sensors on the surface of the earth. The sensors are the electric field sensors which measures the electric field variations and also the magnetic field sensors which can vary the magnetic field variations. We connect it to the uh, instrument and that records the signals that will give you the information about what is below the earth. I will tell you in a much more better way in a, in a way uh, so that you can understand better in a small uh, presentation. Thank you. Now I am going to show you some presentation and explain you in a better way what are the different types of uh, principles of the method and also its applications in a simple manner. Thank you.